Camera's hey on. everybody, just had to show this engineering marvel here. I don't know it's a marvel, maybe that's saying too much, but what we've got here is a 5 by 8 sill tarp, excuse me, an 8 by 10 sill tarp. And then what we have over here is a 10 by 10 Equinox rip stop. And we're both staked down in the back, like you can see here. And we got them pitched kind of, you know, severe in the back because we're expecting rain tonight. And we were doing a little fidgeting just because of where we are. The ridge lines are a little octopusy. So here's what we did to make our lives a little easier. On my inside corner, I draped the corner over Ryan's ridge line and staked it down under my hammock. It'll be above my head, so that's not such a worry. And then, now we're filming me. Very nice. And here, we propped up his tarp with a stick, ran a logging hitch, logger's hitch, and then came over here and trucker hitched another piece of my tarp in to pick up and keep tight. And then we'll have plenty of raw. You know, it'll run off of his tarp, run onto my tarp, run away. And... His guy line out here on this corner goes all the way over to that green tree, that little sapling my finger's pointing at. And then this is my ridge line here on this tripod, by this tripod. And it's out about six feet from my corner and press it to his guy line. And what we've got here is just kind of like the last camp out we filmed. There's an octopus of lines, but they're all at throat level today instead of ankle level. So, and there's the professor set up. He, uh... He's got his shelter half that you can just see here, and this is a 5 by 8 poly tarp that's been staked rather steeply in the front, and he's got it here in the back running to a couple of, well, to my back stake and a tree, and then he trenched underneath in case it gets that wet, and he prussicked it out as a ridge, so he should be buttoned up pretty securely if we get hammered on. If we get hammered on, it's coming from this direction. That's west. That's, you know, and we're sitting with a ridge line behind us, so I don't think we're going to get wind-driven rain. I think if it rains, it's just going to rain. So, we got, we had this tripod that we found up on that little ridge up there and brought it down here for our own dining and dancing pleasure. What's this called? The Australian tripod? Yep. An Australian tripod. Genuine because that tripod's tied together. Right, but if it was a true, the can would just hold the. The tripod. Right. Normally, it would just hold the top end. There are camp dogs. They're tired. They had a little bit of lunch, and now they're sleeping, resting comfortably. So, okay, guys, we'll be back probably around dinner time unless we have another engineering marvel we want to pass on, and we'll talk to y'all here shortly. Camera on. Okay, everybody. It's uh, evening time. I don't know, six thirty, something like that, seven. And uh, Ryan, the professor, eating chow. I ate chow a few minutes ago. Got to tell you a funny little story. That direction, a little ways. I don't know, about one hundred and fifty feet, just up on the ridge. We heard a big cracking and crashing. And all you can do when you hear that sound is just pucker your butt and hope real hard. And it ended up being. I don't know, I think we said a 30-foot section of, you know, foot-around Widowmaker come crashing down. And it hasn't been exceptionally windy down in this, this gully we're in. Uh, we've been sitting here, well, we've been here since 11 o'clock this morning. The wind's been blowing over the top of us, and it's eddying down here in the can or the, the holler a little bit, but it's not anything scary. And, uh, like I said, we heard that big crashing and bang, and it's like, oh my... This this doesn't no this is going to be bad. So, but we are all set up and I don't know how well that's going to show up. Uh, that's my double nest with my um, I believe it's New River under quilt and my sleeping bags up in there and kind of got our gear under our hammocks for just in case it gets kind of ugly and we don't have our gear getting wet. So. Here's hoping.
Maybe we'll, uh, maybe I'll be doing a uh, an overnight uh, video. We'll see. So, stay tuned. Okay, morning, everybody. It is oh seven thirty ish the next morning, and we had an interesting evening. Around midnight, the rain started, and it pummeled us pretty fair. We got well, we didn't get wet, but it it got wet, and then woke up this morning. I don't know if you can see that. That is sleet. We woke up to sleet on everything. I think it's because we're down in this valley. It's a little cooler. The projected low was something on the order of 40-something, and my cold hands tell me it's 30-something. I would say right around freezing. We've got a big pot of water on the boil for coffee. I believe that's going to go a long way to improve our mood. And uh, I think we're going to uh, have a tactical retreat to the professor's cabin to fix breakfast here shortly. And we'll, uh, we'll get with you guys here in a little bit.